These two games right here are among my top 10 shooters of all time. They both accomplished a lot on a technical level and have garnered cult followings over the years. Both were successful with one camp coming out with something different and polarizing and the other being Monolith making the best game that they would ever make. As of late, I've decided to replay these games once more and with this video, I will be giving my thoughts between the two as well as comparing them together to see which one is the best. I will break both games down as best as I can. Let me know however what you guys think though in the comments which game you like better. And no, I'm not going to come to the conclusion where I say that both games are equally great and I can't pick one over the other. Because I generally prefer to be definitive when it comes to these type of videos. Because the whole point after all is to pick one over the other. Anyway, let's get started. Both games offer relatively simple stories, but where the meat and the potatoes lie come in the guise of uncovering background lore within their established narrative. In Doom 3's case, it's told through the characters, the PDA entries, and the video logs. These three elements establish the universe of Doom 3 and adds more background context to what's going on. In Fear, it's the same deal, except it comes from dialogue from other characters like Fettel, as well as your fellow Fear operatives. Throughout Fear, you also uncover laptops or missed phone calls, as well as information before each level starts. All of this together gives you other perspectives regarding the ongoing crisis. Both games present their stories in a clear and cohesive manner. As for which story is more interesting, I'm going to give this one to Fear. Doom has never really been known for having an epic or a deep story, and that's fine. And for what Doom 3 does try to do, I think id Software did do a good job in constructing a universe and adding more narrative to an action-focused game. But Fear's more mysterious and obscure approach to its style of horror ended up resulting in a more terrifying experience. You're never given all of the answers, you never get to see what Alma is truly capable of, although you do see a few segments. Or how the paranormal apparitions are occurring in the first place other than the fact that it's stemming from Alma. But the question is how exactly and we don't really get a clear answer on that. And it seems like no matter what you did throughout the game, nothing was improving. The situation would just get worse throughout the game and it got to the point where we're just more or less reacting to the events occurring rather than just trying to stop it. Because sooner or later you sort of realise that there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop what's going on. And when Alma finally gets released, all bets are off pretty much. In the case of Doom 3, you end up becoming a one-man army, going through hell and back. Its initial stages are more horror-driven, since you're dealing with an unknown threat, but halfway through the game, it's pretty much a straight-up action game. And in terms of the horror element, fear remains consistent in this regard. Because you're never truly in control of the situation, and if Alma decides she just wants to liquefy you into a skeleton, what can you possibly do to stop that? Also, the uncanny nature of the replicas are also another factor in the game's story. The story of Fear was just something I ultimately enjoyed more personally. A setting is just as important as the story. The environment needs to reflect the story that is being told, for that it adds background context to what is going on, who is going where, how and why. You can't just take the plot of a movie like, say, Jurassic Park and put it into a setting like Waterworld. The setting and the story have to match like a married couple here. In the case of Doom 3 and Fear, they both do a terrific job. With Doom 3's outer space nightmare scenario and Fear's combination of western action and J-horror suspense give an uncanny and familiar setting not unlike our own today. In this department though, Doom 3 takes the cake here. In Fear, I would just get the fuck out of Dodge. In Doom 3, I would end up suffocating due to the lack of oxygen. You're trapped on another planet in a large facility full of demonic creatures that positively want to kill you. The thing about being on another planet is that you generally have nowhere else to go, especially on a planet like Mars. The feeling of isolation also tends to kick in when you hear radio chatter less and less throughout the game. In the first couple of levels, take notice of how there's radio amongst the marines, or personnel pleading for help. Halfway through you just stop hearing it altogether, making Doom 3 a terrifying and a lonely experience altogether. In fear you have regular contact throughout the game among your peers, keeping your head together through a worsening situation. In terms of its setting though, it's nothing special to be honest. A lot of the levels look very similar, whereas in Doom 3, you have a multitude of different facilities in the guise of levels, all with their own designs and functions. What went on in Alpha Labs was different to what happened in Delta Labs. In Fear, however, the only places of significance was the Origin facility and some parts of the Armor Camp building. Otherwise, it just felt like I was going from place to place, shooting and then experiencing a horror segment out of nowhere. Oh wait. 
Well, I just described Doom 3, except that Doom 3 just creates a more interesting setting that allows more creativity, whereas Fear grounds itself in a more realistic setting, which in comparison isn't as interesting in my opinion. Another thing I really liked about Doom 3 was the presence of life in the beginning. Seeing the NPCs walk around immersing themselves in their work, or just having random conversations about strange things occurring in other parts of the facility. Things like this enhanced the story and the setting together, and personally I enjoyed the setting more in Doom 3 than I enjoyed it in Fear. But I will give Fear some credit where it's due for its great atmosphere. Both Doom 3 and Fear stand out in terms of the gameplay, but for different reasons if you've paid attention to the community responses over the years. Doom 3 was the game that became the Black Sheep as a result of fundamentally changing the gameplay in favour of a slower, more horror-centric experience. Most of the Doom community at the time were not happy with this change, expecting something that was in spirit of Doom 2 or even Doom 64, which some had considered to be the unofficial Doom 3. Fear, on the other hand, took its source of inspiration from the Gung Fu movies of the late 80s, as well as other films like The Matrix, and blended it into a J-horror-inspired narrative. And what we got was one of the most satisfying shooters ever made. But how do the two hold up together here? The truth is, I immensely enjoy both. The weapons in both games feel great to use, have great designs and utility. The enemy types are also dynamic in both their function and their behavior, although Fear does a much better job in terms of the latter. They both have a slower pace, oftentimes requiring either a planned assault or a more cautious entry into a room where you may anticipate an ambush. I like Doom 3's movement a lot more due to its speed. In Fear, however, it feels like you're walking most of the time, although I understand that they were aiming for a mix of tactical and action combat. But in saying that though, Fear's combat here ultimately wins, which leads me to say that Fear's gameplay is much better overall. The physics are modelled to a greater degree, the AI behaviour is impeccable, the guns in this game feel way more satisfying and yield more interesting results. The shotgun in Fear is also better, it has more range, a faster rate of fire, packs a punch against almost anything, and it's always in good supply of ammo. The game's arsenal is also a bit more interesting too, like the repeating cannon which is like a shotgun on steroids, the particle cannon which turns enemies into spooky skeletons, and of course the penetrator, when bullets just won't cut it and you need hard-on nails to pin someone against the wall and, uh... Okay, moving on. Enemy variety, though, is pretty weak in Fear compared to Doom 3, but that's just because of the more realistic setting, whereas Doom 3 has you pitted against the forces of hell on another planet, in a sci-fi setting. Also, the slow-mo mechanic of Fear lets you pull off a number of awesome combat segments, and on the extreme difficulty, can be an absolute lifesaver. Both games go for the same goal of putting action and horror into a blender, and in some respects, Doom 3 is scarier due to the circumstance of the environment that you find yourself in. But Fear is a far more gratifying game due to the polished gameplay and mechanics on top of it. Also, the brilliantly written AI, making some of the smartest enemies in FPS gaming as of late. In fact, there's even an MIT piece on the game's AI itself. I'll provide a link for anyone interested in reading it. Are you sure? Sound is something equally important in the execution of a product's approach to horror, and in the case of Doom 3 and Fear, both games have great sound design that's engineered to bring the horror into each level. From the flickering of the lights, loud and abrasive noises, whispers from unknown voices or uncanny noises that sound familiar and off at the same time. And as for sound in other departments like music, ambience, guns and explosion sounds, well, it can be somewhat subjective due to what one prefers to hear, but on a technical level, I feel like fear wins out on this one. Explosions are much louder and even give off a seismic reaction as they should. Guns have a punchier effect and are louder. Doom 3 on the other hand sounds like it's wanting for more, while still sounding crisp at the same time. Ambience is more minimalistic in fear while at the same time feeling tense, because of the familiar environment we find ourselves in, 
and we never know whether we're facing a squad or something else entirely. In Doom 3, the ambience is strengthened by the constant buzzing of the facility's impossible structures and working technology, on top of the presence of demons around the corners, or demons waiting to be spawned in. Also, the sound of those trites the first time around made me turn the game off when I was a kid. I'll admit here that I'm not exactly an expert in this department. There's only so much that I can say and I can only base my opinion on how I feel when I hear the sounds of both games. I know enough that they both sound great, but my preferences are gearing towards fear in this respect. As for the music, Doom 3 absolutely just kicks ass with that main theme. Whereas Fear's music works when you're playing the game, but not really when it's by itself. Now we have to consider here that both games are a year apart from each other, and a year in those days meant massive leaps in graphical fidelity and technical evolution of game design and game engines. Doom 3's id Tech 4 engine was quite powerful for its time, giving amazing lighting and shadows, great attention to detail in both environmental design and character models. But Doom 3 is a game that has suffered over time as a result of the years going by. The finer details aren't that sharp anymore, but the lighting and the shadows do hold the game up still, alongside the designs of each respective level, including Hell, which has my favourite depiction of it in the whole series. Fear in most cases holds up much better in regards of the weapon models and the character models. The interior environments also still look pretty decent, although the outside environments look absolutely terrible. Something Doom 3 did a much better job with. On a technical note, however, Fear takes this one due to the advantage of it being released a year after Doom 3, but I like Doom 3's overall presentation more. The combination of different enemy designs, level designs, the atmosphere and art direction are something that I enjoy more. I can appreciate Fear for its more realistic modeling and sharper textures, but I just like Doom 3's graphics overall a bit more, plus the graphical enhancement mods also add more flavor to it. I would recommend the Absolute HD mod for Doom 3, so I'll provide a link in the description for those interested in spicing up their Doom 3 experience. Like I said, I'm going to pick one over the other here, even though I love both games dearly. In the end though, I'm going to pick Doom 3. And the reason is because I enjoy the overall experience of the game more. The setting is more interesting and creative in its presentation of the facility and the demons. The gameplay, while isn't as nuanced or unique as Fear, is still pretty enjoyable in its own right, and is also more fast-paced in comparison. You have conversion mods, whole new maps, even gameplay overhauls that completely revamp the experience of Doom 3. The game just has way more replayability for me overall. And while I'll always appreciate a good story, it's ultimately the replayability of games that I look for. I can replay games like this, as well as other games like Dusk, Ultra Kill, Doom Eternal and more because of how fun they can be on top of the potential amount of content that they provide. Fear is something akin to a solar eclipse. I don't play it as much, but when I finally do, I have a blast every time I do play it. But when I play it a bit too much, the experience begins to lose its potency for me for a bit, and then I just end up moving on to another game and don't touch it again for a while. I don't really get that issue with Doom 3 though. There are things that Fear absolutely does better, and is a more unique game in comparison since I've been hard pressed to find anything like it besides the Trepang 2 demo. But with all the other things I've factored in it, and due to my personal history with the games, I give the hat off to Doom 3 due to how I felt in the end, and admittedly, it was not an easy choice. And that's a wrap everyone. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments, any further insight or suggestions on what I can do better in the future is also appreciated. Have a good day everyone, thank you for watching.